we are walking the first section of Dan Raven Ellison's Great Big Walk of London, which was a 500 kilometer spiral around London. So we are north, north London, about as north as we get. And we are doing the first leg today as a little test uh, to try it out. And we're gonna photograph some brutalist, what are we photographing? Lovely Cockfosters water tower. And we're gonna do that at yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've got about, how long, about an hour and a half of daylight left? Yeah, um, just over two hours till it's dark enough for night photography. Okay, and then hopefully enough time for a little pint afterwards as well. We'll see about that. Got a little helicopter flying above us and a frozen... Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna walk on that. Some frozen footpath. Uh, just heading across, or along the lee. Quite lovely. As you can see, the light is getting quite low. Right, so we are now in the we weren't in the Lee Valley Regional Park, but now we are in the Lee Valley Regional Park car park. Uh, and we got a bit of canal going on here, some locks, and we were just going along a section of the London Loop. From quite... Sewardstone Marsh. So it's so marsh. And I think, right, look. And we are along the Lee Valley Walk. I think we're going up here. Yeah. I don't know what river this is, or canal, or whatever you want to call it. River. River. Looks a bit <laughs> looks a bit murky, I think that was our <laughs> thing. But this is this little cut through, I think it's on the way to a primary school. It's certainly quite busy, and there's a lot of people walking down and it seems quite well used. Could be cleaner, but yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. It kind of pops open, and there's like little residential areas we're sort of passing through. Avoids the roads. Yeah, I'm not sure we're not on the London Loop anymore. I don't think we're definitely on eight routes, mm -hmm. which is quite nice. Okay. All right, we're in Albany Park, which is kind of a strange little little park. It almost seems like well, there's a river that goes through it. It looks like. It has lots of crap being pumped into it. Doesn't look the nicest river. But it's quite nice. Well, I don't know, it's a nice, this tour of light's nice to walk down. Yeah. As we pass through Albany Park, I'm gonna talk a little bit about brutalism in color. So tell me a little bit about brutalism in color. Yeah, so the end point of this walk is Cockfosters Water Tower, which, yeah, quite unique design, uh, lots to it. So it's good for this project, which is photographing brutalist architecture at night and amplifying the different light sources, striking it to show it in as colorful light as possible. And how long have you been doing, doing that? <laughs> wow. uh, at least four years now. Longest running personal project I've done. Okay. Uh, still going, still lots to shoot. Has it been four years? Over four years. When did we first start going out, walking together oh. and taking pictures at night? It's before lockdown, wasn't it? It was before lockdown. It's and we we measured. That's when we were going to the lenses of Croydon. Yeah. And we'd go for a little pint afterwards. Yep. And we'd talk about projects. Hmm. And I said, can I come along? Hmm. And then we started walking around and taking pictures in the freezing cold like today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> always cold. Yeah. But it's quite yeah. fun. I think mm. what's kind of weird as photographers, you don't often have a chance to see other photographers work. No. So I think it's always, and when people have got quite a unique project, I think it's quite interesting to see their process. Well, and the walks are quite nice, your stuff during the day. Yeah. End up at some concrete, photograph that. So okay, this, is, this is our format, for people who don't know. We take a nice long walk. Uh, we get our timing wrong, so we're chasing the sunset, trying to do the walk in the day, and then finish at night, so we can find some concrete to photograph. And we are still on the London Loop. I don't know what section I had. <laughs> and in the London Borough of Enfield. There we go. Uh, we're on Turkey Street. And it turns out we're following Turkey Brook, which 
is exciting. Still on the London Loop. Still with loads of rubbish being thrown into the water there. So we've just gone over a big old road. Still on the London Loop. And there's a weird little, little detour we've got to do. And we're wondering whether we can cut through it or not. But <laughs> would that be cheating? I'm not sure. I think it would be. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. We're just doing the detour bit along the New River Path. And we've got a bit of history of the New River, haven't we? Hmm. When it comes to nice clean shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in North London, I can't even remember where it was. I've got with a similar fence. Similar fence, a bit of New River. And uh, we had lovely, clean, shiny shoes, avoiding quite a well-known, infamously muddy bit of the New River. Uh, I got old shoes, but Chris got his nice, clean, yeah. new walking oh, shoes. I got mud on. on them now. We got mud on them. Yeah. There you go. We just found a bit, a bit of information. What does it say? The New River is neither new nor river. It is an aqueduct built from 1609. To 1613 and there's blah 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 all right hmm. still used as a source of drinking water okay and we're heading up i'm wondering if there's a payoff at the top of this slight incline other than mud it's get always quite muddy oh, oh. all right oh a bit much mud it's a little bit muddy make a detour <laughs> the new river stride there. Yep. Chris is just behind me here filming a quite ingenious little device which is clearing debris from a little gate. What would you call that? Gate? A water gate? A weir? A weir? I think it something is like a... that. And the thing behind me, I, I took a I overlay some what is happening. Just sort of going across and scraping the the debris out and then there's like a little pile of just crap from the river. Yeah. It's quite cool. Never seen anything like it. No. Oh. no. See the new river bit of the uh, the detour it was quite nice but this is a tiny little path along quite a busy road. So I'm not necessarily a massive fan of it. Although there was a nice looking pub we just passed but we must press on because we are losing the light. There's some quite interesting little buildings as we go along here. Although there's this tiny footpath. And you'll probably notice the traffic come behind me. Definitely not going 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Right, we're in 40, 40 Hall Park, was it? Yep. It's quite nice actually, isn't it? Yeah. Getting a little bit dark. Parakeets like it. Parakeets having fun. And we realised we're quite far <laughs> from, from Cockfosters. Yeah. About half an hour ago is two hours. And thanks to our little detour, it's still about two hours, I think. So we might be doing that in the dark. Whether we finish this section in the, any, any sort of light, who knows? But we'll see. We might finish this in the dark. <laughs> we're just passing around this. Look at this. Little pond. All right, just done a little car change, walking through. In between, we've got a little river on one side and a frozen pond on the other. And it is quite dark. We are testing the <laughs> low light capabilities of this little camera. Taking a pause to photograph some crows in the field. All the crows. All the crows in the field next to us. And yeah, we're just gonna be walking in the dark <laughs> in a minute. We are certainly not on a main road anymore, although we can hear it. No. All right, so we're just walking down towards Gordon Hill and that's the sort of end of our, hmm. our little walk really, which is quite nice. We weren't expecting yeah. it to be dark, but that'll do. We made it. Yeah. 
Alright, just do a little update now. We are at the location. I'm not sure if you can see Chris in the darkness here. Hello. He's slowly appearing. We've reached the water tower. We've been walking a lot in the dark. Uh, there's a lot of security light here, so you can actually see me. And yeah, we're looking to get some good shots, hopefully. So I think that's just a nice way to finish off. It's a happy ending that we, we reached it, even though uh, we are quite muddy. And we've been walking in complete darkness for the last about an hour and a half. 